Hi friends, this is Faizan. Today we are going to discuss about quantitative analysis and try to find out how it is used in BI. So let's start. We are using two types of measurement level for quantitative analysis. First one is ratio and second one is interval. In real world, most of the calculation are in ratio. Ratio has true zero, for example, cost benefit analysis. On the other hand, interval is rarely used for specific problems and interval doesn't have true zero, for example, temperature check. For quantitative analysis, observations are really important. Like if we observe that our cost is greater than benefit, we will start taking initiative to fix it. Similarly, temperature check in different regions to observe the impact of global warming. Observation will lead towards storytelling in a specific direction and it is a really crucial task to perform. To quantify storytelling, we have to gather historic data to build a model for the future trend. For good quality data, we have to do cleansing, sorting and reconciliation. Later put observed variable in the model to find out relationship in between. And last, high observed variables will give clear picture of the required trend line. In our last video, we had a discussion about inventory control model which tell us about overall earning effect by different inventory control variables. So let's discuss about it in further detail. Suppose you have observed that your earning pattern is not good enough due to poor inventory control management. In supporting of this situation, you have built simple model to find out relationship in between earning and inventory turnover. Capital E is earning per month. Earning per month is a dependent variable and E0 is initial overall monthly earning response by managing inventory turns which is considered as an intercept of a function. E1 IT is basically inventory turnover. We can calculate turnover by subtracting opening balance from closing balance. We would have three expected trend line positively correlated, negatively correlated or no correlation at all. But what if we want to add other factors like cost productivity, overhead efficiency and waste rate effect. In that case, our simple model will be converted into factor analysis. Similarly, we would have three expected trend line positively correlated, negatively correlated or no correlation at all. Quantitative analysis gives us sense to analyze past data with the help of model to predict future. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.